Good morning. Today is Thursday, May 5th, 2022, and it is day number 117 in my fasting journey. Yesterday, I weighed in at 166 pounds even, and this morning, I am at 165.8 pounds. So, I have lost two tenths of a pound since yesterday and a total of 53.8 pounds since the start of my fasting journey. So I definitely had a very tiny weight loss, but that's okay because the alternative is either a stall or a gain. So any weight loss I am definitely grateful for. And I kind of like feel like one of the reasons why I had such a small weight loss is because I am so excited to getting to 164 pounds. That's like 1.2 pounds away. 164 pounds is the halfway mark in my journey. It's a huge milestone for me and something that I've been looking forward to for a while. And I kind of feel like all this excitement that I feel is putting a little bit of stress on me. And I've talked about this before that when you are feeling stressed, you release cortisol into your bloodstream. And when you've got cortisol floating around inside of you, that makes it difficult, if not impossible, to lose weight. So basically, I need to take a step back, take a deep breath, and calm down because I am going to get to 164 shortly. Um, definitely not tomorrow, though, because I have a refeed schedule for today. So I am doing rolling 72s. I am in round 21 and I was actually eligible for a refeed yesterday, but I decided to extend my fast out by a day. So right now, as I make this video, I'm about 93 hours in and I will be having my refeed shortly. And the reason why I extended my fast out by a day is because I am trying to get a refeed to hit on this Monday. And so, um, in order to do that, I needed to extend round 21 out by a day, and I'm going to need to extend round 22 out by a day, so that way I can have a refeed for this coming Monday. So um, this coming Monday, my brother and I are going to have a belated Mother's Day meal with our mother, and so I wanted to participate in this meal definitely. So that's why um, I'm kind of like altering my um, fasting times um, for this week. So um, anyhow, like I said, I do have a refeed schedule for today and um, Tuesdays and Thursdays are definitely a little bit hectic for me because I help out um, my brother and his wife um, in getting their little um, son to school, my nephew. He's four years old and he goes to preschool and um, we help drop him off. And um, then like after he's dropped off at school, then I go straight to work. I'm working on like this huge project and so I just really didn't have any time to make a meal for myself today. So I'm ordering and I'm going to be ordering from this place called Panera. It's a sandwich shop and I am going to be having a um, turkey sandwich. Actually, you know, that was a, a Freudian slip. Um, I want a turkey sandwich, but turkey doesn't work well with my body. So I'm actually having a um, tuna fish sandwich. And so I'm going to have two and what I'm going to do is scrape the tuna um, off and get rid of the bread because I am staying away from bread. It's one of my weaknesses. And so I am trying to stay away from all of my, you know, like t old favorites and things that will tempt me and like start my cravings back up again. So I will get rid of the bread. And um, the sandwich also has like um, tomatoes and onions and something called emerald green lettuce, which is like the most beautiful shade of green I have ever seen. And so, um, I'm going to put the tomatoes, onions, and lettuce kind of like to the side and make a little bit of a salad with that. And I am going to put like extra virgin olive oil on it for a dressing. And then um, yesterday I did go grocery shopping for some things that I needed and picked up an avocado. So I'm also going to have avocado slices. And so um, the total calories for today is 800. So the breakdown is 180 calories for each tuna sandwich. And so that's 360 calories total. And then the extra virgin olive oil that I'm gonna put on my salad is 120 calories. And then avocado slices, that's 320 calories. So if I did my math correctly, I'm doing this at the top of my head, it comes out to 800 even. And so, that's what I'm doing for today's refeed and I am definitely looking forward to it. 
because um, when I have refeeds, I've been trying to make them for myself, um, but I'm not the best cook in the world. And so my refeeds are not amazing um, most of the time. And so I am definitely looking forward to having something that I know for a fact tastes good, at least to me. And so can't wait. And um, I will be having my refeed shortly, like I said. Um, but I kind of like want to tell you um, in today's video why I have my refeeds in the morning. So um, I actually would prefer to have my refeeds in the evening. That's just when I would prefer to eat. But I am doing morning refeeds for various reasons. But the main reason is um, because back in the day, like many years ago, I worked for this very small firm. And my boss had this friend that would stop by the office on a regular basis to have lunch with my boss. And um, this man, when he started, you know, coming to the office for lunch, he was um, a little bit heavier. Um, but anyways, as the years went by, he would get smaller and smaller and smaller. And I am always curious about what people are doing when they lose weight. But I am not one to just like go right up and ask people because you never know. Maybe he's losing weight because he's sick. And so I just kind of like... Just, you know, keep that to myself, that I'm, my curiosity. But anyways, one day I kind of like eventually found out that what he was doing was basically just having one meal a day. He was eating in the morning and he was eating whatever he wanted. And what he wanted was junk. He would like have huge bags of M&Ms, chips, ice cream sandwiches, just like everything that like you can imagine um, that you would consider junk food. And so I was really intrigued by this. And this is like many years ago before, like I've started on my fasting journey. And so this is when I was eating junk myself. And so I attempted to try his diet and um, it definitely worked for me. But the thing about it is that when you are eating junk food, it is not filling. And I found that I was hungry like later in the day and um, I didn't have the willpower to like, um, hold out till the next day before I had my next meal and so eventually I just kind of like fell off the wagon in like the worst way and like the weight that I had lost um having like junk food refeeds in the morning um basically eventually came back and so um anyhow now that I am on like the fasting journey that I'm on right now and I'm trying to like focus my refeeds on whole foods like meat mostly meat heavy meals because um low carb has always worked well for me and um i'll have like vegetables on occasion and also um you know low sugar fruit and so as a result those meals are like really filling for me so when i have them in the morning i actually don't have any cravings and can make it the entire you know day without needing a meal and so um Basically, I'm able to do um, my boss's friend's diet um, now without like hunger and cravings. And I find that it has worked out very nicely for me. And so um, basically that's why I do morning refeeds because I saw like firsthand evidence of um, how effective a refeed in the morning is. And I kind of like um, actually tried to do the junk food like diet um, with evening refeeds and I kind of found like I didn't have the same results that I'd had with morning refeeds. So it's always been in the back of my mind um, to start like having, you know, morning refeeds. And so that's why I do them. And um, eventually, as soon as I get to my ultimate goal weight, then I'll go back if I, you know, want to, to having dinner refeeds, because I think that would work out much better for me and my schedule. And I wouldn't like feel so rushed um, to prepare a meal. And so that's like in the future is to go back to dinner refeeds. But for the time being, you know, morning refeeds work out for me. And that man um, that I was telling you about, who is basically the inspiration for me, you know, doing morning refeeds, um, not only did he lose like a lot of weight, and I think like in the hundreds, I think he lost hundreds of pounds, but like um, he, you know, had good numbers surprisingly when he went to the doctor and I guess that's probably because he would um, have his like huge like junk food refeed in the morning and then basically fast for like 24 hours before his next meal and so that goes to show you how powerful fasting can be that it can you know negate some of the effects of junk food eating so anyways that's why I do morning refeeds so tomorrow I will be back 
I hope that you have an amazing Thursday and take care. Bye.